what? It was hard. So tell I, I always like that answer. So tell tell me why it was hard. Okay. So so as you went to elaborate, you it was it was uh, uh, challenging to try to build it to build the sustained argument. Okay. Did anybody else find it hard? Yeah. I thought the brevity of the context in the beginning was the trickiest part. Like I knew what I wanted to say and I knew what the books were, but I felt like I was being too long-winded in in setting up the. the the reader of my essay. Right, and there, there is always that hazard. The, the students will come in and they think they have to give you lots and lots and lots and lots of plot before they get into the analysis part. And that's, yeah, that's, it's a challenge to say no. You know, your, your reader will know something about what this is. And so just, just the, the briefest bits. Other, other general comments? Yeah? Uh, to, uh, my part was, maybe it was, just, it was uh, that prompt. It, it was lost on me that I felt as though that whatever I was writing that first line or two, uh, right, the, uh, the prompt was going to be very similar to what everyone else was writing. So I almost felt as though that, like, I'm writing this out when I know what I need to be writing anyway, and everyone else probably wrote the exact same thing for those first two lines. Okay. So I found, but well, obviously necessary, right, because you got to let the reader know. Right. right. Uh, and then I quickly went into getting confused on if was there a sequence that was expected. Uh, I understood the parts that needed to be in there, but I had to remind myself, did it have to flow the way that you taught it to us tonight, or can it go in any structure that you want? Um, so what right. is the answer to that question? It needs to go in that order. It needs to go in that it's order. In that order <laughs> uh, intentionally. Okay. It's for reasons of like rhetoric and persuasion. Okay. If you persuade the uh, evidence and then the reason why, it makes it more convincing. Well, and the other the other piece too is that if we if we were to say, eh, put your put your assertion wherever it seems logical. Yeah then we don't know that they know what their assertion is, right? So when we're teaching them the structure, when we're teaching them the underpinnings, they need to have their assertion in a particular place so we know that they know this is my assertion, right? For, for me, when I was doing it, by the time I got about two-thirds of the way through, I realized I could argue this a completely different way. <laughs> and that's why, I mean, that's the beauty, right? I mean, because, because even if we had the same first two sentences, Right? Where we go with it is entirely up to what you can justify based on the text. Right? There a comment over here? All right. So I think my first attempt at assertion, I decided I was just trying to get more an answer to the first two questions, which weren't really the problem. Right. And I have to scratch those out and come up with an assertion that. Okay. Did you? I mean, I'm sorry. Keep. Yeah, so just got lost time there. I also wasted time.